All right. Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to PK's Lab. We're going to do another quick video on what that crazy tiny little potentiometer in the front of the Immersion RC Rapid Fire uh, does and how to calibrate that portion of the receiver. So let's do it. I'm going to flip over real quick and show you which potentiometer we're talking about. So if you look in the upper corner here, right behind this upper SMA connector, there's a tiny little pot in there. Um, and it controls basically the balance of one of the receive modules. Um, so essentially when you're receiving video, this is uh, the scope that's hooked to the video output and you can kind of see it's popping back and forth as we get multi-path in the basement here. And so scope wire comes down, comes into just the breakout that plugs into the side of your goggles Boop. right there and so that's the same signal that's coming out of the immersion RC receiver so that's what we're looking at um, and essentially if the value on that potenti potentiometer is wrong as we move I've got an antenna down here I can move it between the two antennas and let's see if we can get it to Snap, crackle, pop. So if you get it where that potentiometer value is wrong, the amplitude of this waveform will be different from one receiver to the other, and it'll cause a visible brightness uh, change in your received signal. Um, so, all right, let's go take a look at what it takes to adjust it and what it looks like when it's working right and when it's working wrong. All right, so here's what we got. Um, first things first, you want to put your rapid fire module into legacy mode. Um, that just makes it easier to see us doing these, working on it. Oop. There we go. Um, second things, all right, I probably should tell you what, what we got here in the setup before I go any further. Um, so I've got an analog cam up here going into a video transmitter that's hooked to this antenna on a cable. I can wave around and you can see I can move it around. Uh, when I first started this video, I had that potentiometer already calibrated up. So I backed that out and I turned it one way. Um, so as you can see, if I move the antenna around, the amplitude on the oscilloscope in the left-hand corner is bouncing all over the place. See? And that depends which antenna is active. Um, and that's going to cause the pops that you see in the upper right hand corner, which is a webcam that's hanging out looking into the Fat Shark goggles. So let's see if we can make this any better. So it helps to go slow um, and move the antenna around so that it switches between the receive paths. And of course, everything's really tight in there, so it's a little tough to get the screwdriver in. So this should be a little bit better. And I have a rough idea where the right point is, like I said before, because I've already done it on this module. But I'm actually going to go past it for the sake of this experiment so you guys can see what we got going on. So what happens when you go too far? Come on. So that's a little bit past it. So we're still almost exactly right. So let's go a little further just because we can. Yeah, and for me, the there's a tab on that potentiometer on the top part that you're turning and that tab when it's for this particular module and everybody's module is going to be a little bit different uh, the tab faces about the 4 to 430 position uh, so almost 5 o'clock is where it likes to be on this particular one but it depends on you know the performance of your uh, receiver modules that are inside your rapid fire so let's see so I think we're almost at the 6 o'clock position here. 
There we go. So you can see now there's a little amplitude shift in the oscilloscope. And so basically what we're trying to do again is to get rid of that amplitude shift when it's switching back and forth between the two um, to get it to be just right. And I do want to mention that this is not, I don't know how Immersion RC does it in the factory. They probably have a much more you know, streamlined process to do this. Um, this is just something I noticed that, that can help. So I'm sure they'll, they'll end up commenting and be like, don't do that kids. You're going to break or your shibuti. Sorry. And there'll always be a little bit of a pop, but you don't want to see like gross amplitude changes if you can when you've got it dialed into the right spot. So we got it pretty close. Um, and I could be wrong, but I believe this also helps uh, some of the color shift when you're in rapid fire mode one. Um, if you're getting that weird color thing, because the, the two transceivers are not, sorry, two receivers are not actually balanced properly in terms of their analog voltage. Um, so hopefully that was helpful to folks that are uh, wanting to get a little more performance out of the rapid fire. Or maybe they just dropped it a couple times and that little potentiometer turned or, or something like that. So, all right, hope everybody's having a great morning. And I will talk to you later. All right, just a quick addendum to show you what it looks like once we switch back into rapid fire mode. Let's see if we got rid of all the, the pops. Awesome. There we go. Move it all around, move it and shake it. Life is good. Very cool. All right, hopefully that was helpful.